Good morning. I would like to um, go over a little bit about um, the spoken word and the written word again and how there's a war on the name of Jesus. And we know that uh, in Romans it mentions that they are blind in part to this very day for um, the Gentiles to have a chance of being saved. And because the Jews rejected their Messiah the first time. <clears throat> their Messiah, Jesus Christ. Anyways, if we go to Wikipedia, Wikipedia, we see a list of biblical names. If we go to I, we see that there's obviously an I, including Emmanuel right here. It's supposed to, in the New Testament, it says God is with us. And this doesn't make a spit of sense right here. But <clears throat> hopefully somebody will correct that proper. But all of these, when you put them into a <clears throat> translator, they have the sound of I. And back before, uh, when words were being written, there was no difference between... <clears throat> the I and J when it was written, especially from the Greek, in the Greek, and then from the Greek into uh, English. <clears throat> there was no separation of that sound of the I and the J, even though they were both written with the same letter. All right. This right here is really interesting whoever that is. Over here, we have a list of names in names with the letter J. Over here, we have a translator. See how I put in the name Jason? It's biblical, right? We see over here, uh, Jason was an ancient Greek mythological hero, blah, 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 blah. We put it in here in the translator for English to Hebrew. Listen to this. Jason. So there's the sound of the letter J. And let's go to, let's see, an Old Testament name. Um, where's you? I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, sorry about that. Let's go to Joshua. 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 A central figure in the Hebrew Bible, book of Joshua, according to the book of Exodus. Numbers, Joshua. He was Moses' assistant. All right, so let's use Joshua over here. <clears throat> See how they are trying to change it down here? You can see that. However, in original Jewish language, there was a sound of J. Listen. Joshua. See? J. Joshua. Joshua. They, they do a long O. Joshua. Joshua. See? So we see that even in the Old Testament, Testament, the letter J, or the not the letter J, but the sound of J was spoken before it was written. <clears throat> what about Joel? Joel. See? Again. They're trying to change it down here, but the sound is still J. Joel. It sounds weird if you say yo you. Listen. Joel. Joel? Come on, really? It's getting really Joel. ridiculous. In um in Russia, there's a term 
or the Northern European uh, Hebrews or Jews had a term called Yiddish. And Yiddish, a lot of the words started with an I, Y sort of sound when they spoke it. That's why they called it Yiddish. And that is where a lot of that comes from. They're trying to erase Jesus from their language. This is incorrect. This Yeshu is incorrect. Yeshua. This is incorrect. Elohim. Elohim. Well, they're close to it. Yeshua. This is wrong. That is incorrect. Yeshua. Wrong. I don't know how to fix that. I can know how to even. I don't even know how to help them correct that. It is wrong. Absolutely incorrect. What about Jonah? Jonah. Jonathan. See, they're trying to change. They're trying to get rid of the sound of J. I mean, they even going as far as um, changing Jacob. Yeah, cool. See, that sounds very Russian. It doesn't sound Jewish. It sounds Russian. Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to get rid of it. Irk. What about Josiah? Let's try that one. Yashu. Really? Yashu. No. See, they're they can't even they're trying to cut off the rest of the the sound of that. Look. They won't show you that it's actually J sound in the Hebrew language. They were trying to get rid of it. So freaking frustrating. You need to see this. Because if you are standing against Jesus Christ and using some other God name that had been found in the Old Testament um, area where they have like a pillar in the land that has Yeshua or Yahweh or whatever on it um, that Ron Wyatt had seen. That's an Old Testament God. Please understand the difference. That is not jo uh, Jesus at all. That is not Jesus. It's not the same God. And there's some sort of um, spirit with that Yeshua and, and a deception going along with that, that Yeshua. Many are falling into. And you, if you believe in Jesus Christ, you need to reject all of that and just focus on Jesus Christ. Because in Scripture, it says Jesus Christ is the only name given to the world whereby we must be saved. There's no other, other God beside him. None other but Jesus Christ. Crud. So, mm, let's try this one right here. Jock Meme. Let's see if I can even. Let's see, Jock Meme. Like that. Jump Dumb. See? 
there is still the sound of J in other names, other biblical names, but they're trying to get rid of get rid of it, and they can't because it, it will totally ruin the word of God. And if they ruin the word of God, then it's going to be upon them and their heads and their hands. So in the Greek, Iesus is what it looks like when it was written. But that I, even in my uh, translation from the Greek to the English, it mentions how the I and the J are the same letter for two different sounds. And that by the Holy Spirit, if the Holy Spirit be with you, will help you understand these things. So hopefully this has helped you. And... I hope you have a great day, and if you believe in Jesus Christ, may Jesus Christ bless you. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ, it's time to come to him. There's no time left. God bless.